Hi, I'm Vizzy. I like making diagrams, so let's get right into it. With the new year upon us, many of us are using this as an opportunity to improve our lives in some way. You'll most commonly see people around this time of year talking about their New Year's resolution. So what I want to do is look at the statistics for the past few years and see what people have chosen for their New Year's resolution. So something to keep in mind before we start is that I'm only using one study per year, the sample size never exceeds 2011 people, and that everyone surveyed is American. So looking at 2019, you see dieting, exercising, losing weight at the top three spots. As we continue, you'll see that these remain prominent through each year. 2020 has much of the same, with finances taking the top of the list, with health and exercise filling up the top three spots. In 2021, you'll see that spending time with friends and family has jumped up to number three. This is of course due to lockdown and the effects of the pandemic. 2022, much of the same, the same for 2023, and again in 2024. So why don't New Year's resolutions work? Well, of course, I wouldn't be the first to criticize them. Many of these goals are just too difficult or are lacking the ability to be applicated properly. So let's talk about how to set goals. So SMART is a managing technique, but can be used for setting goals. So this breaks down anything you want to achieve into five different categories. Specific. Do you have a specific goal in mind to achieve? Measurable. Can you quantify your success in a reasonable manner? Attainable. Is what you're wanting to do possible? Relevant. Is what you're wanting to do relevant to you or your given group of people? And lastly, time-based. So can whatever goal you have be achieved in a timely manner? Now, while SMART might work for goal setting, personal growth and self-improvement is pretty difficult. It's no wonder why you see many of the same resolutions at the top of the list. So what can we do to help this? Well, first things first, let's change each of these components into something more applicable to us. So my solution to SMART is fun. So a common issue with most of these goals is that they're too specific. You very often see them phrased, I'll do X by Y. But as is very obvious to see, this can lead you to failing more than succeeding. If your goal is to lose one pound every week, and there is one week you don't do it, by the metric of your resolution, you failed. So we need something that's a general idea. We need something fluid. Next is unique. This doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have a New Year's resolution that is like somebody else's. Of course, there's going to be overlap. Again, when we looked at the statistics, you saw a lot of people wanting the same thing. So unique in the sense that it applies to you. Not exclusively, but that that's what you need at that given time in your life. Whether you're 18 and you're just starting college, or well into your adulthood, there should be a system that works for anybody. And lastly, notable. Some people mitigate the New Year's resolution hurdle by just giving themselves something easy. But the core principle behind a New Year's resolution is long-term growth and change. So if what you're wanting to do isn't notable enough, it won't stick with you. It has to be something worthwhile. So what I'm describing may sound familiar to you if you're aware of CGP Grey's solution to New Year's resolutions. That, of course, being themes. I, of course, will not be summarizing what a theme is in this video, and will be linking his video in the cards above and the link in the description. All you need to know is we basically reached a similar conclusion, that there's serious reframing that needs to be done about how you approach a resolution. So I wanted to give an example. For my New Year's resolution, this will be the year of action. So what exactly does that mean? So personally, I have approached New Year's resolutions before and have tried and failed. And I have tried CGP Grey's themes, but I ended up not picking one that really resonated with me. So if I had to give this last year an overarching theme, it would have been preparation. There were many new things that I began and got started. I got a new car. I started a new job. I moved. I started exercising more. I ate better. I managed my finances better. And of course, I started making weekly YouTube videos. And overall, had a lot of good things happen that I built the foundation for. So for the year of action, it's going to be maintaining the things I have. All the routine and all the endeavors I've been doing will stay the same. I'll still make videos, still be exercising, and still cultivating my relationships. But personally, there are many times where I have the feeling that I shouldn't go for something, or I shouldn't do it. And that's something I want to combat, to just go for it. Less passive reaction, more people interactions, stepping out of my comfort zone, managing my thoughts, and working on the things that I've always wanted to do, or doing the things that I've always held back for whatever reason. I think the moments where I felt the lowest was where I felt static, where I felt stuck, and where I felt there was no room to go. Just chains keeping me confined to one specific spot. And now I feel free to do. So by the end of the year, I do want to make a follow-up to this video and talk about 
what action means to me because I highly suspect it will change, but I'm very excited. So do you have a New Year's theme or resolution? Do you think my idea of fun is better for goal setting? Or do you have something different in mind? Regardless, I look forward to what you have to say, and I look forward to this year.